aiming to contribute to the faster growth and development of the field, our lab released a set of open source contributions within 2023. To support efficient learning for aerial robots, we released Aerial Gym, an Isaac Gym based simulator that implements parallelized control for micro aerial vehicles, a set of assets to build environments, and offers the ability to simulate thousands of drones at real time with game level GPUs. Towards resilient uncertainty aware and visually attentive navigation, we released Oracle. Oracle relies on deep collision prediction that accounts both for epistemic and aleatoric uncertainty thus offering resilience within autonomous flight without the need for a map or a position estimate. It further exploits an information prediction network and delivers visually attentive flight within complex environments. Aiming to offer the verifiability benefits of modularization and to support the avoidance of thin and broadly hard-to-perceive obstacles, we released SEVI and SEVI Oracle. SEVI represents a semantically enhanced variational autoencoder with explicit focus of its latent space to hard-to-perceive entities. The method is then combined with part of the Oracle architecture to support safe navigation in highly cluttered and challenging environments. Beyond software alone, we release the design and code of TracePaw, a sensorized smart robotic paw that enables terrain recognition and contact force estimation exploiting a micro-camera and a microphone embedded within the paw. The system relies on two neural networks trained for this task, while inference also takes place using a processor within the paw. Last in terms of software, we released a minimalistic and simple-to-use driver for vector nav inertial measurement units. In terms of open data, we first released an underwater dataset involving a robot with a time-synchronized 5-camera and IMU system executing 24 trajectories with diverse motion patterns and illumination conditions. Furthermore, we released a dataset involving litter, radar and IMU data focusing on conditions of litter degeneracy either due to geometric self-similarity or the presence of dense smoke. Thank you.